Hello, I am back. I'm back in California. We will recap the retreat later, but I wanted to do my snacks and facts video that we talked about last week or the week before, whenever that was. Um, so I've got my snacks. I just went to Trader Joe's today after work. Uh, all of the fall pumpkin-y things that I got were like meals and then things that require some preparation. Like I got this yummy brioche pumpkin brioche bread to make French toast, but that's not really a snack. So those things aren't pictured here, unfortunately, but I did get some of my favorite Trader Joe's snacks. I've got three of them here. You can't see because, okay, there we go. So I've got these Elote corn chip dippers, which are delicious. They're just basically like Fritos scoops, but they have this yummy Elote seasoning on them. They're so good. Um, I like to eat them with taco bowls, but today I just have a little bit of sour cream because they are kind of spicy. So that'll help with the heat a little bit. And then I've got peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets, which I'm sure you've seen before, like Walmart, they have them at Walmart and other places, but the Trader Joe's ones are better. And then I have these sour cream and onion puffs. They look like little shrimpies, but they're sour cream and onion corn puffs and they're so good. So I've got those, I've got my facts, but let's get started with my drink because that's another fun thing. We've been on this bubbly kick so I got the watermelon bubbly. We also have tried pineapple. Oh, not like hit me in the face. We've also tried pineapple. We've tried blackberry, raspberry, strawberry. Um, I can't remember what other flavors we've tried, but we've, we've tried quite a few. This is the first time we've gotten the bubbly or the watermelon though. They've been out of stock. So Brent had some last night and I had a sip of his. But here's the thing though, that makes me annoying is that this is not one of my facts, but I don't like flavored sparkling water. Um, I need to add a little bit of water flavoring to it to make it taste good. It just, I don't like sparkling water without a little something extra. So I just put some tropical pineapple mango. Ooh, with the watermelon, that's delicious. So I've got that to drink. A lot going on. Let me have a bite of my snack and then I will get to facts. Okay. Mm. The corn puffs. So good. Okay. Fact number one. I am the oldest of three. I have a younger sister and a younger brother. Fact number two. I have lived in six different states. I've lived in California, Kansas, Kentucky, Idaho, Utah, and Missouri. And that was in order. We're in California and now I live in Missouri. Mm. Oh, but I visited, I have visited 29 states. My goal is to reach all 50 by the time I turn 50. So there should be time for that. Mm -hmm. I'm 21 to go. In that same vein of travel, look how much, much spice and flavor this one has. I have traveled to five countries, Canada, Mexico, Belize, Honduras, Ecuador, and Spain. Mm. So good. Fact number four is that, <clears throat> spicy, Paige is actually my middle name, not my first name. Fact five is related to that. If my parents didn't give me the first name that they did, they were going to name me Amber, Rachel, or Brooke. And for the longest time, when I, after I learned that, I want it to be Amber. Fact number six, if I'd been a boy, 
My parents would have named me Austin, Logan, or Wyatt. Of those names, I think I like Austin best. Um, number seven, I'm related to Wyatt Earp. I don't know if, I assume that's why they, no, I don't know. I don't know if they just liked the name Wyatt or if it was gonna be to name me after Wyatt Earp, but he's my great grandpa's great uncle. And we share a birthday. Um, number eight, I've been in the newspaper and on the news. I was in the newspaper in kindergarten because my kindergarten, my kindergarten class, we sent off this bear that we named Little Bear. And we sent him off on some like adventures around the world and when he came back to us they wanted to do a news story about it i don't know but there's a picture of me holding little bear and then they quoted me i can't remember what i said something about being happy that he was back or something and then I was on the news. Not me. I mean, I was... Let me explain. My mom is good friends with John Holt, who is a news anchor here in Kansas City. He's been anchoring here in Kansas City for over 20 years. Very long time. Fox 4, Kansas City. They're very good friends. So they came out to our house and... They did a story on like backyard safety and we had a swing set and a trampoline and so they just got a bunch of b-roll of my sister and me swinging on our swing set and jumping on the trampoline. So I wasn't interviewed or anything but um, there was footage of me playing in the backyard. That was when I was probably like Bean is eating her food, so she's also doing a little mukbang down here. Some kitty ASMR, if you're into that. Um, anyway. Number nine. My front right tooth, this one, broke in half my senior year of high school because someone, one of my classmates, threw a carabiner at my face. Like, you know, one of those metal climbing hook things? <clears throat> it was after lunch. Our next class was choir. And these two boys... There was like a weird hallway in the music department between the band room and the choir room. It kind of zigzagged a little bit. And they were playing catch with this carabiner. Why are you playing catch with a carabiner? I don't know. So my friend Anthony threw it. And Steven did not catch it. And it hit me in the face and broke my tooth. I just remember hearing my tooth hit the wall. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> I went to the dentist the next day. It took several hours. I don't have a crown on that tooth, but they just used bonding, which is basically a filling. 
and that was a while ago so it's held up really well um number 10 i played soccer basketball and volleyball growing up and i was on a swim team my favorite of those sports was basketball or swimming I was in the best shape of my life when I was on swim team. Swimming is such good exercise. Number 11. I am a Pisces. <clears throat> and an Enneagram 9 wing 1. And I relate to a lot of the characteristics. Of Pisces and Enneagram 9s. So, if you want a little inside scoop into who I am, go look at those things. Um, number 12, <clears throat> this one is kind of a hot take, and not really a fact about me, I guess, more of a belief of mine, but I think that the saying or the sentiment that everything happens for a reason Reared son is one of the most invalidating things that you can tell someone who's gone through something hard. <clears throat> I think it's not comforting at all to hear that. And, um, I've been through some really hard things that I wouldn't wish on anyone. And I don't believe they happened because they were supposed to. I think sometimes bad things just happen. And so I hate, I hate the saying everything happens for a reason because I just, I don't believe that's true. I think you can find good in every situation. But... Not everything happens for a reason. That would imply that we don't have any say in what goes on down here and that accidents don't happen. Those chips are spicy. Um. Number 13, and I feel like you might know this about me because I, I think I've shared this before, but I grew up with a dog, our family dog, Josie. We had from the time I was 11 and she died two, three years ago. Um, loved her. And then we, my parents got a dog when I was um, like 21. And now they have a dog currently that I love and adore. I've always considered myself a dog person. I love dogs. But now I have two cats. Um, <clears throat> and I'm obsessed with our little kitten that we adopted last year. I, I'm not a cat person, but I love Bean. I love her so much, she makes me so happy. And then number 14, I was managing editor of the yearbook in high school. And um, that really helped me find a passion that I didn't know I had for design and layout and typography and also for sports photography. I was in charge of the sports photography and um, 
soccer was my favorite sport to take pictures of. And I actually went to a journalism competition. I went to regionals and then state. And I placed first at state for, um, excuse me, for one of my soccer photos and then for cut line writing, which is basically just captions, which seems like a silly field to compete in, but it's an event. <clears throat> I'm getting full off these snacks. I have one puff and one pretzel nugget. And one more fact. The final fact is that I loved to read when I was younger. Loved it in <clears throat> elementary school, middle school, high school. I loved to read. Um, I loved the, the Scholastic Book Fair and I loved the um, like the Pizza Hut personal pan things that you could win. What was that called? Um, like the book it program. I can't remember. Was it called book it or something? Did all of that. And then, um, the last couple years of high school and then college gave me major burnout on reading just cause I rarely had time to read for fun. And I did not read a book for fun for a really long time. But then in 2020, my best friend recommended a book to me and I loved it. And I've been hooked on reading ever since. And I've kind of rediscovered my love of books. So last year I had a goal to read 50 books. I read 50. This year my goal is to read 50 again and I've read 45. <clears throat> so I just, I love reading. Bean wanted to make an appearance. Say hi! Anyway, that was snacks and facts. Hope you learned something new. Maybe share with me a fact about yourself in the comments. That could be fun. Anyway, you guys have a good weekend and I will be back maybe tomorrow. Brent is working a wedding for his mom um, and I'm not. So maybe I can come back tomorrow and we'll do a, maybe I'll make some of the Trader Joe's meals that I got, not multiple meals, one meal. And um, I'll do a, recap on California because I have a lot to say about that. Okay, goodbye.